Now, it's easy to assume that only narcissistic people get blocked. And this is why with the last video that I uploaded where I talk about narcissistic people block too, it can create some confusion. People can say, wait a minute, I've had to block the narcissistic people in my life. Does that make me the narcissist? No. The reality is this narcissistic personalities out there oftentimes block other people, but for different reasons. So in this video, I want to separate the reasons why it is that victims of narcissistic abuse need to block the narcissist. But I want to give you three reasons that narcissists typically block their victims. Let's talk. My name is Kevin and this is The Royal We. Now, before I do continue, I want to let you know that I'm here to support you down in the description box below this video. You'll find access for one on one appointments with me. I take telephone calls and video calls through Zoom, FaceTime and WhatsApp. Also, the Royal We private membership is available for you where you get daily support by me and a growing community of people all over the world. There's a workout program that helps you cope with narcissistic abuse that you have put up within your life. There's fellowship where we read the Bible and so much more all in the privacy of a members only app. So head on down there, get started in the Royal We Private Membership. Everything you need to know is down in the description box. Now let's get into this topic of the three reasons why narcissistic people typically block their victims. First, let's address why victims of narcissistic abuse oftentimes have to block the narcissistic person. Now blocking in and of itself should be used as a protective measure. Oftentimes victims need to block a narcissistic person in order to stop being harassed in order for the narcissistic person to stop stalking them, in order for the narcissistic person to stop showing up on their social media, making inappropriate comments. This was the case of me having to block the narcissistic in-laws back before I even knew what blocking even is. And what blocking is, is putting up a boundary. It's putting up a barrier. Back before I even realized what blocking was, I found myself blocking the narcissistic in-laws on my social media. And the reason was is because I discovered that every time I was posting and engaging on social media with my family members and my friends, the narcissistic in-laws would show up oftentimes making inappropriate comments, just trying to poke at me. And it became not necessarily a form of harassment, although I guess it could have been harassment, but it was just aggravating and it was annoying. And I just wanted it to stop. I wanted them to go away. I wanted them to leave me alone. I didn't like them coming around poking at me, making inappropriate comments. And so I implemented basically what is blocking. It was meant to protect myself mentally, emotionally, and physically. This is what blocking is typically for. You block a narcissistic person to protect you mentally, emotionally, and physically. It's a boundary that's in place meant to protect your peace. This is the biggest difference. And this is why you should be blocking narcissistic people. Now, let's get into the three reasons why narcissistic personalities block people because it's very different. The first reason a narcissistic person will implement some form of blocking strategy against a victim has nothing to do with protecting themselves mentally, emotionally, or physically. It's actually part of their game. It's a form of punishment. This is where a narcissistic person will implement a temporary block as a way to say, oh, you've made me angry. It's the equivalent of a toddler who is running away. But the hopes is that the person they're running away from will chase them and say, oh, please don't run away. And this is what a narcissistic person oftentimes does. They'll do this when you do something that makes them mad or when you confront them on an issue. They will immediately go into, well, I'm going to punish you because I don't like the way you're treating me. So therefore, you're blocked. Now, this type of a blocking that a narcissistic person does, whether it's on your social media or any other type of blocking or blocking your phone number or whatever, it's very temporary. And this is how you know it's more of a game. It's not actually them blocking in order to protect their peace of mind, in order to protect themselves or set a boundary. It's a blocking strategy used to get you to chase them. They're blocking you because they're playing a game with you. It's part of their strategy. And oftentimes it works. It keeps you stuck in the toxic relationship. It keeps you off balance. It keeps you wondering what you did wrong. And so you're likely to chase after them. You're likely to try to talk with them. You're likely to try to work things out. And it plays right into what the narcissistic person wants. So you have to be aware 
of this first reason that narcissistic people will block their victims. Again, it's a temporary thing. It's more of a punishment. It's part of their game. It's part of their strategy. It's like you're dealing with a toddler. So be aware of that. It's not a true block. It's not out of protecting their peace of mind. And it has nothing to do with you being a narcissistic person. It is basically their game. The second reason a narcissistic person might block you is because you're no longer a good source of supply. This typically happens when you begin to confront the narcissistic person for their bad behavior and you begin to distance yourself from them or you stop serving them and bending over backwards for them and giving to them in hopes that they're going to change. Instead, you start to show your distance and you start to hold them accountable for their actions. This is when a narcissistic person basically becomes tired because it's too much. Again, narcissists are looking for the quick supply. They want their needs met only. They don't want to be accountable. They don't want you to confront them on their bad behavior. Basically, they're a predator that is going for the prey that's just going to roll over. But the moment you show that you're going to stand up, you're going to back them down. You're not just going to be eaten up, which is what they want. They want to just eat you up. The moment you show that you're going to stand up, you're going to puff yourself out, you're going to become stronger, you're going to push back. You're going to basically say, hey, if I'm going to be good to you, you're going to be good to me. Well, this doesn't work for narcissistic people. This robs them of the supply. Narcissistic people are not about reciprocation in relationships. They're simply about eating. That's it. They're about the supply. So when you show that you're going to be more difficult for them to get supply from, they might, in fact, block you. It's a way of them ignoring that you exist. They're diverting their own attention. They need to. They're not capable of giving anything to the relationship. That takes away from them. So they have to divert themselves, oftentimes resulting in them blocking you so that they no longer see you, so that you're no longer a distraction for them, so they can divert their focus to the easier targets, to an easier form of supply in their life, whether it be another relationship, another friend, another something, something that they can go after to get that supply. Now, this type of blocking can sometimes be temporary, but it can also be permanent. This depends on you. It's temporary if a narcissistic person knows that you're still there and still believes that they can come back and get what they want from you. Oftentimes, a lot of you fall into this category for a long time with narcissistic people. You'll put up a front, you'll put up a boundary, the narcissistic person will block you, get supply somewhere else, or try to get supply somewhere else, but then come back, try to weasel their way back in, and you might bring them back in. However, this can also be a permanent form of blocking if you stand firm on your boundaries, if you never give back into the narcissist, if you always put up your boundaries and your front, making it difficult for them to get supply from you, well, then it can turn into a permanent block where the narcissistic person wants nothing to do with you. So they shut you out. They block you on their phone. They block you on their social media because they finally realize that you are nothing more now than a permanent distraction from them getting what they want. And so they'll leave you alone. By the way, this is what you hope for. This is really what you want. Best case scenario is that a narcissistic person permanently blocks you so that they leave you alone, so that they stop trying to chase you for supply. So this is a good thing. If the narcissistic person permanently blocks you, it's also an indication of your strength. If a narcissistic person is blocking you because you're not bowing down to their demands, you're not giving them what they need, you're not a form of supply, then it's a sign of your strength. It's a sign that you're no longer worth them chasing after you. So good for you. Stand firm on that and you'll earn yourself a permanent block by a narcissistic person, which is exactly what you want. The third and final reason that narcissists will typically block a person, and this also is a permanent block, and that is out of fear. Yes, narcissistic people are very fearful, timid creatures. Actually, they're cowards. And when it comes to a narcissistic person who has taken from you, who has abused you, who has robbed from you, who has stolen from you, either mentally, emotionally, or physically, a narcissistic person, rather than ever being able to be accountable and taking steps towards repaying you or taking steps towards working with you even to reconcile, they will run like cowards. It's a debt that they cannot pay. Essentially, a narcissistic person 
has amassed so much debt when it comes to what they've taken from you, they can never repay it. And so they become terrified. They become fearful and they run and they block you. Matter of fact, they not only block you, they hide from you. Yes, when narcissistic people block you out of fear that they can never pay back what they've taken from you in the toxic relationships, they're actually hiding from you. They hope that you never find them. They hope that they never come across you again. All of this basically is out of fear. And it's very common. It happens a lot. So yes, narcissistic people can block you and disappear forever out of your life, out of that fear of accountability. So while being blocked by a narcissistic person can in fact be hurtful, it's important to understand that none of it is a reflection of you. None of it means that you are a bad person or a toxic person or a narcissistic person. And that's the main difference between why you have to block a narcissistic person and why they block you. As we've discussed to a narcissistic person, it's either part of their game or you're no longer a good source of supply or they're afraid of being accountable. And so they have to run and hide and block you. None of it has anything to do with you. It is all them. This is how they operate. This is how they spend their lives. There is nothing that you and I can do to change the behavioral patterns of a narcissistic person. Oftentimes, the best thing that can happen is a narcissistic person blocking you. This is the best possible outcome is for them to realize that they don't want to be accountable or to realize that you are not a good source of supply and for them to move on. This makes ending a relationship with narcissistic people so much more easier. I promise you, I have been coaching people out of narcissistic abuse for the past decade, and I can tell you with 100% certainty that the best possible outcome is a narcissistic person who has blocked you and moved on. That in and of itself, especially if it's a permanent blocking, is a sign of your strength. It's a sign of your ability to say no more. It's a sign of your ability to demand accountability and a relationship, which is what you deserve. You deserve relationships of accountability, of honesty, and of authenticity. So allow narcissistic people to weed themselves out of your life, even if it means they're blocking you, because you deserve better than that. I truly hope that this message clears up some of the confusion about who's blocking who in toxic relationships. And if you do have more questions, you're welcome to schedule some one-on-one -on -one time with me down below in the description box. I do take telephone calls and video calls through Zoom, FaceTime, and WhatsApp. Also, don't forget the Royal We private membership is available for you for daily support, ongoing support, a workout program, fellowship, everything you need to know to not only cope with narcissistic abuse that's taken place in your life, but to move forward into purpose and into your calling. I'll be back with more videos for you right here on the Royal We. Be sure to subscribe to this channel if you're brand new. Hit the like button and the bell notification because this is the only way that this message gets shared. Also, check out one of these videos by the YouTube algorithm because it knows what you need to see right now. So give it a chance and I'll be back. Bye, everybody.